three years extension on my loan with Coles. Not even a half a year. Just 90 days. Three short months. Then I'll reach Sand Canyon, collect my bonus from the Territorial Legislature, and repay you your loan in full. Mm. Three short months. <clears throat> well, uh, Mr. Calhoun, to be perfectly frank, no. <laughs> Not without more collateral. I've got it. <laughs> yes, sir. 10,000 acres of prime land. Granted to me by territorial deed. <clears throat> That's my collateral. Ben, you're absolutely right. Ah, bucko, you're an inspiring sight. Friend, I've known Ben Calhoun for 10 years. I've sided with him and against him in each way. His word is pure gold. My advice is take it. Whose advice, sir? Oh, that's a good question. I'm Prescott Webb. Oh, yeah. Good old Prescott. Yeah. Excuse me, Mr. Holmes. Well, it's been a long time, eh, Bucko? A long time. I thought you might need some help in scaling that frozen fish. Everybody needs a little help every now and then, but not yours, Prescott. You're a brass-plated thief that would pick a blind man's pocket for practice and rob your own mother for fun. Now, you stay out of my life, stay out of my deals, and stay out of that car, or I'm going to dismember you. Yeah, but listen, I... Wait a minute. Did you see Calhoun? What did he say? Well, he, uh... He kind of overwhelmed me. <laughs> I'm going back to settle a few details. Good. Now, Holmes, we were discussing my collateral. Mm -hmm. Yes. 10,000 acres of land worth at most um, 50 cents an acre. What? Pardon me, sir, but that's sheer nonsense. Speaking for frontier land sales, I personally can guarantee the railroad a net of $5 an acre minimum. $5? As I told you, Bucko, give me 30 days to sell the land. We split the income, and you are guaranteed $5 an acre minimum. No deal. No deal? But to Mr. Calhoun, $5 an acre is a considerable sum. Precisely, sir, and as bond, 10,000 in cash. I said no. You said no? But that is a substantial sum of money. It's a prime deal, bucko. You get to keep the land alongside your right of way, I sell off what you don't need. We both make money, and you get your extension. That's right. Sign here. That's your collateral. That's right. Hey, good morning, Buck Old. Bring a few friends for breakfast? Yeah, they're all prospective buyers. Oh, by the way, I'd like you to meet a, an acquaintance of mine, Mr. Brady. Preacher Brady, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But they hung you back in the Oklahoma Territory. Well, I strove with them, brother, and made them see their sinful error. And lo and behold, they repented. I'm Helen Garth, Mr. Calhoun, and I want to thank you, all of you. You're welcome. For what? For agreeing with our land deal and giving me the opportunity of testing my finder. And what does your finder find? Why, it finds gold, Mr. Calhoun. Oh. Gold! Is that a thousand machine? This is a scientific device for locating metallic ore, including gold. Including suckers. Well, that's progress. Ben is naturally suspicious, but you being a man of science, you understand. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, you're all here to see gold discovered by magic. But I wouldn't bet on it. Are you saying there's a swindle, Mr. Calhoun? I'm not a judge or a jury. 
but I'd sooner put my faith in leprechauns. However, if they want to demonstrate, we'll all watch. Whenever you're ready, ma'am. Maybe I'll help you. Thank you. Much obliged to you, brother. Leprechaun. If you don't mind, I'd like to take a look at yeah. it. Yeah. I do mind, brother. Mister. The manners are not so good. Well then. Are you about to teach me manners then, brother? Niels, Brady. All right, ladies and gentlemen, step up. You're about to see a miracle perform. Go ahead, dear. Could it really work? No, it's just an electrical spark, Lars. Now, I am about to place this nugget in this electric coil. The electricity will course through it, and then it will fuse with the gold under the ground, be drawn to, and discover it. Oh, yeah. That's room. Boss, she's crossing back onto her right away. Is this bad? So that can be no question, you dig. Ben, go ahead. Come on, go on down. Start to dig now. There it goes. You're getting down loose. Look at it. Hurry up. Watch me there. That's it. Wait a minute. I think I find something. Mr. Tarrant. Is it gold? I think maybe. Is it gold? Is it gold? Is it gold? It is gold. Well, of course it works. Can't you people see when you're being swindled when it's laid right out under your noses? A swindle, brother. It was your own man that dug up the gold. Yeah. More important, it was found on your land, on railroad property. I don't stand to benefit from this, but Ben Calhoun does. Come on, he's the first man to benefit from the gold finder. He may be the first, but not the last. Hold it. Who knows how much gold there is under any of this land, or all of it? You're going to be a rich man, Ben. Excuse me, Fred. Are you uh, Brady? Yes, I am, brother. 
I understand your boss is going to have another land auction today. Less than 10 minutes. First come, first serve. I'd like to make sure I'm served first. Uh, I'd be willing to make you a bet of $200 so I get my choice of parcels. $200. $200. That brother is a considerable bribe. Are you crazy? Now, let's get one thing straight, brother. Mr. Webb runs an honest business. He sells land by auction to all comers. Why, I only wanted to... You only to wanted to seduce me by the power of Maimon. No, brother. No, brother. Your money is tailored. That's good fight. <laughs> And you ain't so clean your own self. <laughs> yeah, that auction is in ten minutes, folks. Ten more minutes. <laughs> Go on in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mm -hmm. Welcome in, stranger. You go in there, the first drink is on the house, Billy. Up to the bar, auction in ten minutes. Thank you, thank you. Please, Mr. Harris. Mrs. Harris, you are wearing me down. Come on, look at him. Men coming from every point of the compass just for the chance of gold. We have a farm. That's right, we have a farm with rocks and snakes and mud. My family deserves better. In Illinois, you said it'd be better on the frontier. That's right. In Arizona territory, you said it'd be better up north. We hardly settled in here, Mr. Harris. It's a growing country. We gotta keep moving with the chances. Trust me, Mrs. Harris. Farmer, go on and get yourself a drink here. Thank you. of prime land. With gold on it? No guarantees, friend. My business is selling dirt. What's under it is your affair. All right. First up is lot 263. Yeah, that's what am I bid? 500. 500. 500. I've got 500. 550. Up 50. Up 50. Do I hear six? 600. 600. How about 670? 650. I'll wait for the next one. Going once at 600. Going twice. Sold to that gentleman for $600. Over here. Over here. Oh, Mr. Calhoun. Good, Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Are you going in to buy some land? No, I might go in and watch the show. Honest men cheating themselves and all that sort of thing. Can you join me? No, thank you. I don't appreciate your sense of humor. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe we ought to get out of range. <laughs> all right. Where? If you're not afraid of the enemy camp, we can use my car. For what? Coffee. Is that the famous Calhoun hustle town? Well, brandy if you like. Conversation. Ah, that did it. You know how women love to talk. 
1,000. Going. Going. 1,500. I got part of it here, and I can give you the other when I sell my farm. Oh, I'm sorry, friend, but the rules say cash only. I'll have it in a few days. Give it to him, Mr. Webb. Give him a chance. Yeah. All right, friend, you just bought it for $1,500. $575. Good, my friend. You signed right there. You came here to talk, but about what? I'm a scheming woman, Ben. And I think fighting is a waste, especially when we can negotiate. All right. Then let's get right to the point. Be businesslike. You are no innocent, Ben. And you need money. For a very good cause, I must admit. You want to build a railroad. Well, Prescott and I want to get rich. So, you see, if you cooperate and just stop trying to make our would-be investors suspicious, well, then everybody would be happy. Even your would-be investors, huh? What about Preacher Brady? Well, Prescott just thought we might need a strong right arm. Why? Does the preacher make you nervous? Yes, he does. Very much. He's a paid killer that enjoys his work. Now, Webb's salted this ground out here with gold. When these men find out about it, they're going to be very unhappy. I don't want to see a bunch of innocent men get killed. Webb should know better than to try to con me. No, I should know better than to try to con you. All we want to do is make our money and leave. There won't be any trouble unless you force it. I tell them the truth. The land reverts back to the BPS and D. And that means Ben Calhoun. All right. Then we'll let Miss Garth douse for gold again. And if she finds it, I'll sell the same land to you at $5 an acre. Now that's mighty generous. You know what he's doing. He's trying to convince you there's no gold under that land. I'll take your offer, bucko, and I'll convince you that there is gold under that land. Now, Miss Garth will demonstrate the gold finder. Not next month, not next week, but tomorrow. car. He's trying to stop us, all of us, from finding the gold he knows is here. Come on, let's go. No, no wait, wait. Prescott, stop him, please. All right, my friends. I don't blame you for being angry. You've got a right. As you once commented, Ben, Webb is a very dishonest man. Let's move back slowly. We don't want to get anybody hurt. How do you mean hurt anybody? What about us? Especially us. Yeah. Get Calhoun! Get Surely. No. 
kill him. They'll kill him. Oh, don't worry about Ben. He's tough. He won't be killed. <laughs> but he sure is going to be blamed. I almost was not here in time. Yeah, that would have been a shame, wouldn't it? Yeah, that was a good fight. A little bit. Yeah. Happy you enjoyed it, Nils. I like that very much. See? No damage to Calhoun. But that crowd out there is convinced there's gold under this land. <laughs> the price of real estate just went up. <laughs> I'm getting closer. Mr. Harris, we still owe $925 on this claim. Mrs. Harris, you gotta realize a farm is hard to sell. Everybody's got gold fever. But where will we get the money? Here. Right here. Mr. Harris. What if Mr. Calhoun is right? What if there isn't any gold? Mr. Calhoun wants the gold for himself. The man is a thief. Am I a thief, Mr. Harris? We didn't mean anything personal, Mr. Calhoun. You stay out of this. I'm not backing down. I don't expect you to. I know what you think of me and my railroad at this point. But I just want you to know if you get to the bottom there and there's no gold, maybe we can help. Thank you. We don't need your help. I hope not. See anyone. Tell him I'm here. I don't think he wants to know. Now we'll both go inside. Well, Dickens, I didn't hear you announce Mr. Calhoun. Well, he, he sneaked up on me. What about Mars? That big sweet got him. Well, we all make mistakes. the same mistake again, will we, bro? Well, Ben, how about a drink, a cigar? Helen, let's be hospitable. Let's not. What is it, Ben? Well, it's Sunday. 
I figured that our deal will be canceled by tomorrow, Monday. What are you talking about? I have another week before it expires. Yes, but I thought you might agree to call it off. For what reason? Stay in lives with good woman. Well, now, is that a threat, brother? <clears throat> yes, it is. Uh, come, come, Bucko. We had a battle of wits and you lost. Why don't you accept it? Just as you've accepted your share of the money we've made. My half of the money is in the bank at Scalp Lock, and not one penny of it's been touched. Why? Trying to provide a safety net for these customers of yours when the three of you run out. Ben, I'm not leaving until I sell off every acre of this land, and there's no legal way for you to make me. Sketchy. You mean guns? You just start with guns and always winds up in a graveyard. Barnes! Now, boss. No. No, hold on, boy. Watch what you do with that thing. Oh, I will, Mr. Brady. But I'm pretty green. I just point and shoot. Right now, I'm pointing at you. Mm -hmm. Big fella! I brought this with me, Ben. <laughs> that bartender out there is a little bit nervous. That belongs to Mr. Webb. We don't want to steal his property, so give it back to him. If you say so. We've got the rest of the afternoon back in. No more land sales. Or I'll be around here to see you again tomorrow. Barnum? I can get a dozen men here by tomorrow. Don't be stupid. I learned a long time ago not to tangle with Ben Calhoun. You know, I misjudge that guy. He has a weakness for honesty. Oh, well. What are you doing? Packing. Packing and leaving a fortune here? Oh, no. We're going to take a fortune with us. Well, I'll go along with you for now. I'll go get the horses. You do that. I'll be ready in an hour. You're just as happy, aren't you, Helen? Yes, I am. This started out as a simple con, Prescott, and now... all those sorry little people, I... Don't tell me Calhoun's infected you with his honesty. You want to give back your share? Oh, no. Uh, I guess I have a natural immunity. <laughs> Smart girl. Sure. They just cheated you, Mr. Harris. Mrs. Harris, you don't know that for sure. You dug twice as deep as where they found the gold, and you found nothing. All our money, you just throw away all our money. Good day, Mr. Webb. Good day, Mr. Harris, Mrs. Harris. Fine day. Is it Mr. Webb? Fine day for who? Oh, you haven't found anything. Well, there's always hope. Not for us, not anymore. You're not giving up, are you? I don't know. I've dug it all up. I haven't found a trace of anything. We gotta eat. And so do we all, brother. You owe the Frontier Land Company $925. But we're leaving. You can have the land back. That wasn't the agreement, Harris. Oh, come on, Brady. Let's forget it. Call it square. Forget what? That's almost a thousand dollars, Webb. Brady, I said forget it. That's mighty decent of you, brother. Farmer, are you mocking at me? <laughs> Brady! <laughs> Coming? 
no. Gold. He dreamed of finding gold. <laughs> Notified every lawman from here to California. Well, there's not much chance in getting them. Well, he'd got a head start, and Brady's certainly been chased before. Prescott Webb could teach an eel about being slippery. How's Mrs. Harris? No. She's got a sister that lives over Don't Crossing, I've sent for. Whatever good that'll do. Prescott said you were a con man. I've turned a trick or two in my day. It's always been against Sharpies, not against innocent people. Oh, yeah. Yes, I know how you got this railroad in the first place. Now the question is, how are you going to keep it? They'll blame you, you know. I'm sure of it. Probably a mob forming over in Gold Strike right now. Hmm. What are you going to do? Take a page out of Prescott Webb's book. Do a little salting on my own. through my head, and you can hear what I have to say. That's right. Anyone interested in finding gold? What's this all about? I'll make it simple for you. Now, you've all bought land from the BPS and D. Yeah, worthless land. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. You trying to tell us there is gold? I think bring it up. Now, hold a gun on me, friend, but at least hear me out. All right, Calhoun, but you better be very convincing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. First, I want to tell you that I've got all of your money in the bank at Scalp Lock. And we're ready to buy back your claims. What about Webb? You bought the land from the BPS and D? And the BPS and D will buy it back. If you're sure you want to sell it. Oh, 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 oh. Now, I say if. I say if for a very good reason. And that reason stands beside me in the person of Miss Garth, whom you people have named the Gold Witch. She cheated us, too. Now, wait a minute. Did I? Or was it just because you were so sure there wasn't any gold, you didn't even bother to look for it? Well, if there is gold, why did Webb and Brady run out? Because Brady killed a man. And the reason he killed him was gold. I found gold right over there. Nobody else did. Oh, yes. Somebody else did. Harris found it. That's why they wanted his claim back, and that's why they killed him. That's a lie. That's a lie, boys. Wow. We found and I there. challenge you to prove it, Calhoun, or else get strung up. Yeah. You boys have got me in a corner. So I've got to play my hand out. All right. You follow me. All right, Calvin. Dig. I remember. I don't know exactly where it was that Harris found his gold. That's downright sad. 
There's no gold. All right, hold it up. The whole thing's a bluff. Remember. Mr. Calhoun. I'm truly sorry. Calhoun! 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 performance and worth every penny of it. 300, 350, 4, 455. Thank you, Mr. Trundle. Thank you. Say, uh, you don't think there could be gold on that property, do you? Well, would you like to buy a claim? You are a very dishonest man. Well, when you set a trap to catch a thief, the best bait to use is a big fat lie. Gold, all over the place. It's a fact. Otherwise, Ben had gotten lynched. It's really something to see, fellas. Many tons of it. They say it's his biggest gold strike in whole territory. Oh, my God. Yeah, it is good, huh? Tons of it. And I'm having a necklace made out of the raw nuggets. It'll be the rage in Europe. Ah, Europe. You know, I think I'm going to need about four ball gowns. And since the gold strike, we anticipate a 100% rise in business. Please confirm rail shipment. Benjamin P. Calhoun, president and owner of the BPS and D, has said this is possibly the most important strike in the territories. Now, I'm telling you again. It's right here in this newspaper. It's a fake. A mountain of gold. Can't be. To be sure. And our correspondent learned that with its newfound wealth, the BP s and is planning another locomotive, new trackage. You ever hear of a locomotive foundry accepting lies for pay, brother? A mountain of gold. I still have the rights to 4,000 acres. Hmm. Except for one little old thing, the law. <laughs> yeah, the little guy you killed. I forgot about him. Otherwise, I could be sharing in millions. Come in, Bucko. Now, how ever did you know that? I can smell the greed. Let's not be hasty. I admit I left in a bit of a rush, but I came back to stand trial. Brady killed that poor soul. Matter of fact, my conscience has been bothering me so much, I brought back the money, and I intend to give the widow a handsome sum. Please, Prescott, I'm sick of that tune. I want to apologize to you, too, Helen. You were right. Right about what? Honesty. You know, every once in a thousand times, honesty is the best policy. <laughs> and you happen to hit the thousandth time. Congratulations. Thank you. 
Well, now that we're all friends again, you were still part of a killing. An involuntary part. You know, I have a great respect for the law. So I'm going to turn Brady in. Where's Brady now? Well, I wouldn't know exactly, but he should be here shortly. You see, while he was sleeping, I took his share of the money and brought it here. Uh, is that the gold from the Harris claim? That's it. You're a mighty fast talker, partner. But a slow horseman. And I'm gonna take care of you. And the money. Hand me that bag. Sister, you won't accompany me. Just to keep you from any kind of foolishness. Now, hand me that bag. Foolishness is the right word for it, Brady. Why don't you take a look at your fortune? You don't really think that Prescott would risk real money. Take a look, it's counterfeit. <laughs> what are you talking about? Give me that bag. Hand me that bag! Took a considerable risk. I always pay my debts in full. Now that we're square, I guess we can say goodbye. You're just a little too honest. I'm sorry. So am I. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you, Buckle. Oh, I think nothing of it. Hey. You think there's a reward? Alfred Spinner, claim number 315. 600. Yay! $600. Well, now. Huh? Cecil Sturdivant, claim number 289, $550. $550. $550. Charles Swenson, claim number 317, $750. Yay! $750. A staggering sight. Simply staggering. You're giving away close to half a million dollars. It's only money. No, oh, don't ever say that to a banker, Mr. Calhoun. Of course, I understand, Mr. Holmes, that you'll have to uh, cancel my loan. Well, <laughs> unless you uh, have something of value. He has. I stand ready to back Ben's credit. With what? With the reward money for Brady. There was one, you know. $20,000? Yeah, well, no, not exactly. Uh... Ben Calhoun? Yes. Good. I understand you've got land to sell. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, friend. I guess the word hasn't gotten around to everybody yet. There's no gold on the land. Gold? No gold, but huge outcroppings of... What's all this about gold? I want to buy some land, 200 acres. Let's say uh, $10 an acre. Well, I'm sorry, sir. But Mr. Calhoun, there's no gold on that land, and it's not really worth it. Oh, yes, there is. There are more than 500 people living out there, living in a town without a store, without a laundry, without a decent restaurant. Now, I'm a businessman. A successful one, I might add. Yes. And I think I've got a market here. I'd say that little town has a big future. Yes. Now, I am buying 200 acres more than I need. Because let me tell you a fact. That land's gonna be valuable. You are so right. Now, I couldn't agree with you more, sir. Yes. And Iron Horse is back here on Sky One at the same time next week. 
with our great action series, Booker, in two hours' time at seven. Whilst in the meantime, here on Sky One, time for a ringside seat with our very own WWF superstars. Stay with us.